Today we're going to be setting up VMware Workstation to run Windows 11. So I think as everybody in the tech world knows that Microsoft has announced and is going to and is releasing for everybody to play with Windows 11. Of course, we kind of knew way back when that when they said Windows 10 was going to be the last version of Windows, that that was just a marketing ploy, something that they use to get people to upgrade. I mean, you can still do the free upgrade. If you have a Windows 7 machine, um, you can go in and, and do the upgrade and get your digital license for Windows 10, which then you can also use to upgrade to Windows 11. So the only problem is Windows 11 has some caveats that everybody needs to know about. That's not this video, that's another video. But today we're going to be setting up, uh, this is a VM, uh, laptop that I've remoted into. It's got VMware Workstation on it. And uh, I already have one uh, Windows 11 VM loaded here. But let's go over how to, how to get started and set up your VMware Workstation in order to load Windows 11, because that's going to be different than, than normal. So we're going to pick first Windows Workstation version compatibility 16 is fine. Uh, I'm going to install an operating system later because we're just kind of demoing the setup here. So uh, it's definitely Windows and we're going to pick Windows 10 x64. Uh, we can call it whatever we want. This is uh, Win 11. I like my capitals correct. Okay. So then we definitely need to have UEFI. And we don't necessarily need secure boot at this time, but it definitely needs to have UEFI enabled and not BIOS. Okay, so this default one processor with two cores is going to work. That's going to be able to work. Um, now here, when we get to memory, we have to change this to 4096. We need at least four gigs of memory in order to, for it to start. If we don't have that, it's going to say your system's not compatible. So this laptop, if I bring up task manager here, uh, look at it. Uh, we've got, uh, this is an eight gig memory uh, system so four gigs will allow this to work uh, so if you have a system that only has four gigs you're going to be kind of hard to do this you need something preferably with eight gigs in order to make it work okay let's go next um, i usually use bridge networking you can use whatever kind of networking you wish um, then hard drive stuff is kind of normal you're going to just use their recommended and their recommended and then create a new virtual disk. Here's where we need to do something different. 60 gigs is not going to make it allow you to install. You need to switch to 100 gig. Okay, so if you just do the defaults here and try and go back in, you're going to have to do some manipulation in order to get it to work. Uh, so make sure you put 100 gig. Uh, then we're just going to say that's fine for the name. Okay, then finish. Now, we need to add some more hardware. So let's go back into settings. And one thing we need to add, and I'm going to step this so you, through this so you know that, see how this works, says you need to add the TPM, the Trusted Platform Module. But it says this virtual machine must be encrypted to use uh, UEFI firmware. So to get that, we go to Options, down to Access Control, and it says Not Encrypted, and we click Encrypt. And then you give it a password. and click encrypt. So now it's going to encrypt your virtual machine. Uh, now we can go back to hardware, say add TPM finish. And then that's going to add our TPM module and allow us to use Windows 8, we uh, have Windows 8, Windows 11, um, and be able to install it. So that's kind of a quick setup going through uh, VMware Workstation. If you want to run this on a Mac, you can do this with um, Parallels. Parallels, the latest version, has a TPM uh, module that you can add to your workstation and uh, be able to run that. I'm running that on my other Mac here, that uh, testing it out with Windows 11 on, on a Mac. Um, the M1, I've seen that you can do it with the all the beta versions of everything, beta versions of Parallels, and beta versions of um, Windows 11 that they have been, people have been able to get that working if you have an, a Mac that has the M1 chip. 
Okay, but this is how you get it set up and ready to go. So now we can install, put our ISO in there and load it and get it running and be able to uh, test out Windows 11. You need to go in, of course, and join the Insider program and all that. And then eventually it will update to Windows 11. And you can start playing with it. All right. Well, that's how you get it set up for Windows Workstation. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, if you like my videos, go ahead, like, share, subscribe them all. And uh, thanks everybody who has subscribed. Um, it's been a lot of fun running my channel. Thank you everybody for commenting and, and all that. So thank you very much. Have a good day.